So, Lily Lehman's Great Scale. Yeah. Um, we've done this before, um, and you, you've you've been having a go at it on your own, um, and it was um, an exercise that wasn't quite invented by Lily Lehman, but she sort of made it famous. She was a remarkable singer. Uh, as a young singer, she sang all the lyrical roles uh, in Germany. Um, and she's quite quite quickly progressed to heavy roles, and by the end of her career, she was singing when Hilda and he's older. She was very much perceived to be the great Wagner and soprano of her day, and and she was also singing uh, Norma and the Mozart roles at the same time as as being Wagner yeah. and soprano. She was a, a remarkable figure. Uh, she wrote a book on singing, which which is a bit complicated, but but it's fascinating. And she also became quite a distinguished teacher herself uh, and taught people like Olive Fremstadt and Geraldine Farrar amongst, amongst others. Um, an an all-round remarkable figure, but she swore by this exercise, which is taking a, 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 a scale up the octave and down again um, very slowly, so, and then constantly semitone by semitone up to as far as you can take it. Um, so if we have a go at this, and I think what you like to start on a. A, yes. And what this one uh, so that's very very smooth so it, it might be a, a good idea just to have a conversation as, <laughs> as to why why we do this very boring exercise yeah. <laughs> it's quite boring <laughs> <laughs> not to listen to no uh, good. maybe, maybe it is for you yeah. I'm enjoying this <laughs> right so but what, but you, you've been doing it for a wee while now do yeah. we, what kind of benefits do you feel you're getting from it um, so you can feel as you do it more that bits of it become less tiring as you do it more. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, because it takes a long time to get through it, mm -hmm. so it's quite a hard work exercise. And mm -hmm. then once you've done it a number of times, then you can feel the, you know, the voice getting stronger yes. as you're using the muscles more, which yeah. is great. Yeah. So it's quite nice to have like a, a direct, I can actually feel that something is changing, which mm -hmm. is great. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, not immediately. Not immediately. Like it's slow. Say, it's it's a, pretty slow. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's a physiological fine. process. Yeah, exactly. It takes its own sweet time, but, but you do notice the benefits. Don't yeah, you? exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, so not only do you feel the voice is getting stronger, but, but mm. also it's getting easier. Yeah, too, exactly. Getting, so yeah, yeah. The muscles are building. Uh, very good. So now we we don't have to agonise how the voice goes over the passaggio uh, into into purer chest terms mm -hmm. at the bottom with you because to be fair um, you you do that relatively naturally. Yeah. So it, it wasn't something that that, that was an agonising process to you as it can be for for some singers. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. uh, it, it, it's not easy. It's not mm -hmm. easy if you haven't got it, it, it. It's it's a bit of a job to get going. But, yeah. but so in some ways you are not the, the perfect person to talk about this because because you talk to it like a duck to water. How, however, having found it, you 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 are able to go over that blend very very smoothly. But I wonder if we were to say dissect uh, these five notes: C, D, E, F, G, which should take you comfortably over it, starting strongly in chest voice. Not everybody likes that phrase, chest voice, because they associate it with kind of ah, uh, you know, uh, yeah. melt voice. It's not yeah. that. It's 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 essentially a, a deep, sepulchral, chesty resonance. But it's it's somewhat refined for mm. classical music. It's not kind of sort of sassy belt voice that that is appropriate for musicals and, and pop singing. Uh, but nevertheless, there is definitely a gear change when we go over that. So, so I mean, if, we, if we just to go over these five notes up and down, uh, and then maybe you could perhaps describe where you feel the change happening, okay. and when you when you feel you in the other yeah. side, I yeah, yeah. yeah. I the, how it goes over the sound yeah. and, and where. Yeah. Okay, I'm putting you on the spot. I know That's about fine. this one, but <laughs> I'm a big girl now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and when you get to the G, well, you, 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 you definitely, it's almost like a seesaw, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so exactly. So if, if the E is where in each side is absolutely in the middle, yeah. the D hasn't quite touched the floor, but the C has, yeah, and exactly. on the other side, the, the F hasn't touched the floor, yeah. but, but, once but the, the G, G has. Yeah, 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 yeah that's exactly. it. And it's a very, very smooth passage, and yet you go through quite strongly, there's no, we don't sense a gear change, mm. we just send a, a perfect blend, one, one minute, that's quite a... You know, strong, declamatory, powerful yeah. Margaret Thatcher sort of <laughs> down, and then, and then up there you're you're in that purer, uh, bell-like uh, zone, but but the tokens are more more of a head tone. Good. So yeah, so that that's excellent. Very 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 good. Um, so if we just to save time, obviously when you do this exercise, you start at the bottom, you go every semitone up slowly over the scale, keep going right up to the top, you're yeah. not going to get to the top of your voice because it's a very, very tough exercise. You run out of energy. And you run out of energy <laughs> and you start to get tired because yeah. you're using exactly the same muscles. There's no respite. And that, in essence, is why it's a very, very good exercise for building the voice mm. because it stresses the muscles in a good way, like a good workout at the gym. You feel you feel the burn, uh, but but once it's rested, then then the muscle starts to build, and then it becomes easier and easier. Yeah. Um, so if we were to maybe jump a little bit, so we're going to look more at the high register. So again, I know you and I know you've got a good top B flat, B natural, and I'm sure there's a C there <laughs> as well. But you're not going to get up to there yeah. by doing this exercise. So you have to be patient with it and, and disciplined, and not too ambitious. And stop when you think. I think I'd quite like to stop. Now, thank you very much. <laughs> but then, but then, of course, you don't stop. But then you come down semitone by semitone and end up where you, where you started. So it's a really good workout. Lily Damon said that if, if you do it properly, 
it's going to take the best part of three quarters of an hour to an hour to, to do. Um, so you know, it worked for her. <laughs> so hopefully it'll it'll work for you. Good. So now if we we finish on C, there, so if we pick it up on E, maybe and we'll just take take it up a few just to see how it works as, as the voice goes into that sort of pure pure head tone slot. Okay. So there's a new major chord. Just as you've, you've had your low upper side view where you go out of kind of mixed voice into pure chest voice, there is a zone up here in the female voice round about D sharp, E natural, so, somewhere around there where you feel there's another sort of passaggio. Yeah, it's, okay. it's just as it's come out of pure chest, it's drawn a mixed voice and then goes into, into pure mm -hmm. head tones. And that would be E natural. I'm not quite sure that you, your voice, which it normally does, <laughs> I have to say. It's a shame it didn't work uh, as we're filming this, uh, but there yeah. you go. That's yeah. that's what singing is all about. It's real you know, life. Exactly. We, <laughs> we sometimes think we've got it, but actually, uh, old habits can come back yeah, to haunt yeah, us. Exactly. So, and then we need to know what we're doing and how mm. we can how we can put it right. Yeah. So, if I say to you that by the time you get to C sharp and D sharp, there. You're going to find that yeah. slightly higher position. Generally, in the female voice, there's a sense as you get into pure head tones that everything starts stretching a bit at the back of the mouth, the soft palate's rising, all that sort of stuff, which which is a, a, a reaction. It's not an action. You mustn't just suddenly lift the soft palate and expect it to happen. That's the wrong way around. That's mm -hmm. putting the cart before the horse. So, but what you need to do is just find that kind of higher, more piercing quality that you know when you get these high notes and sort of try and get it from the sound of your voice rather than putting it into yeah, a certain exactly. position. And all I can say is good luck. <laughs> Tones, uh, the, the, the breath pressure that's required to just hit the, hit the spot suddenly increases yeah. a bit, yeah. not excessively, not yet. Um, and when that happens, we feel a little bit more connection underneath. Mm. And it, so if you get the sound right, the correct breath support will come as a result of getting the sound okay. right. Yeah, yeah. Again, I emphasize it's not the other way around. You do not suddenly flex the muscles in the diaphragm and expect the, the sound to find its own way. That, that's com completely the wrong way around. Yeah. You have not evolved to do it that way. We, mm -hmm. make an, we have a, an emotive response which produces a sound, and then the sound comes out, and when the sound comes out, as a result of that emotive response, the nervous system doing its duties, it will then provide the degree of support for you. Um, and that is something, it's a simple muscle, and if you develop it, it will get stronger. You cannot expect it to just suddenly be there. Yes. Uh, good. So if we just do, I'm going to jump to, to G flat oh. now, and we'll maybe just try the G and we'll see how the A flat goes. But because it's a tough exercise, we're not going to get the super high notes that I know you have in, in your voice. Right. So G flat.
top, a slightly brisker timber. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 that's right. I'm, I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm, uh, a sadist. <laughs> to you know, yeah. this exercise, yeah, but, yeah. but very good, and, and uh, you're already finding the benefits of it. So the other thing we were talking about was, was, and you're very good at this, and sometimes if it doesn't quite go right, it's very often because the note on the way down is perhaps not in the same place yeah. on the way up. So you, you, yeah, you, and you can feel it quite specifically with the exercise, because you map up one way mm -hmm. and then down the other. Yeah. And so if sometimes you go up and you feel it's not, Kind of slotted in the right way, you can correct it on the way down yeah. or the other way around, yeah. Yeah. which is mm -hmm. quite nice in a yeah. way because it means that you have a point of reference mm -hmm. yeah. and you have a second go. <laughs> <laughs> you can try again. Yeah. But then, but then the, uh, the the brain or the nervous system, whatever it is that's ruling uh, yeah. the insides of our voice, will store that information exactly. uh, and and. Because it's simple survival, the, the, the system wants to yeah. always find the most efficient way of using yeah. a physiological action to achieve the greatest result with the minimum of effort. Then uh, uh, the brain will store that and it will then want to encourage the better usage rather than the, yeah, less, exactly. the less good usage. And I noticed that most quickly early on doing these exercises with the very first few notes. Because I used to coming down back to the bottom mm. chest, I used to get quite a little bit stuck. Yeah, I feel like yeah. I didn't arrive on the same note that I started on, mm -hmm. but quite quickly just by doing it. Yeah, most days, like you can feel that change happen, and it automatically goes to the right place. Do, do, do you know why that happens? You're, you're not alone. Okay. About that, uh, I mean, do, do you know why it happens? Or I don't know. All right. No, do I? No, no, no I do know. <laughs> I do know. What happens is, as you go up, as you go up, and you reach the head tones, the vocal folds behave slightly differently. Yeah. So, so instead of being sort of rather thick and floppy, mm -hmm. like like the lowest string on a on a double bass, yeah. uh, the thickness produces the natural vibrations that produce lower pitches. So as the the voice is rather the same, so as it goes higher and higher, it's not necessarily the bulk of the vocal fold, but certainly the edge of the vocal fold tightens up to give this squeal effect, yeah. this exciting quality. Um, and so it literally, a, a portion of it literally tenses up. Now we don't use the, the word tension in singing is a, usually the, the worst bogeyman of all, but, <laughs> but there has to be a tension in the muscular action, otherwise that muscular action won't happen. Mm -hmm. you know, there is a, ten a tensing, of, a healthy tensing of muscles, and we have to know what the difference is between mm -hmm. that good tension and the bad tension, which comes from singing incorrectly. And so you feel a sense of rigidity and, you, and you're stuck. So, so this good tension, is happening in the vocal folds and they tense up uh, and because they're tensing up on their edges then there's a greater clamp to the air so that the, 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 in order for the air to break through and the air has to break through otherwise we don't get sound yeah. because when it breaks through it sets them in vibration and then that meets with the air and then you have sound waves and they go to the resonators so so as the vocal folds are tightening up they produce this greater clamp and so the air pressure has to be greater to break that break through that clamp to set them in vibration to produce sound and the, that will only come from a, a greater flex, flexing of muscles yeah. and so that's why you know we, we feel 
you, we, you feel this sense of uh, extra something going on down below yeah. as a consequence of the sound. But again, I make the point, it is getting the sound right, yes. thinking the sound. Yeah, to kick it into action. Right and, and then the action will come. And even if the action doesn't come immediately, or if it's not as strong as we would like it, it's, it doesn't mean that it's wrong. It means that it's as yet undeveloped. Mm. And then you just repeat it, like February doing backhands to number nine, yeah. and, then, and then it gets better. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Well, that's really excellent. So um, I think we've had enough of that. Cool. Good, very good. Well done.